everyone, this is Susan again. Today I'm really delighted to have with me Dr. Sani. She's affiliated with Harvard, Harvard University in Boston, and she has been doing research on vitamin C. As you know, we at the Better Bones program, we really love vitamin C. We love it because it's a great antioxidant, and so much bone damage could well be related to inflammation. And we like it because it's absolutely essential for the production of collagen. I'm at some meetings here in Montreal, Dr. Sani agreed to tell us a little bit about her recent research on vitamin C, how it affects both bone density right. and how it affects fracture. Thank you very much for taking time. Thank you, Susan. So um, in my research, I looked at uh, older uh, American men and women, and the data from Framingham Park study was used in my study. Mm -hmm. And we looked at total vitamin C intake in both men and women. We found that higher vitamin C intake was protective against bone loss at the hip in both men and women. So as the people aged, they lost less bone right. if they had vitamin C. They had higher levels of vitamin C. And let me interrupt, what were the higher levels, just to give people an essence? Yes. So the higher levels were between 200 to 300 milligrams per day. Okay. Right. And in men especially, it was important because if men had lower levels of calcium, which is important for bone health, or low levels of vitamin E, which is another antioxidant, then particularly vitamin C was very beneficial for them in preventing bone loss. So isn't that interesting? I've always thought that the body really compensates. If, you, if you're low in calcium, sometimes magnesium comes compensates. In this case, you find if the men were low mm -hmm. in other antioxidants like vitamin E, yeah. or if they were low in calcium, mm -hmm. higher vitamin C would help compensate. Right, right. And then we also did, yeah, and then we also did another study looking at fractures because mm -hmm. that is the final outcome that we aim to prevent right. in right. older adults. Mm -hmm. So we looked at vitamin C intake with the risk of hip fracture as well as non vertebral osteoporotic fractures. Right, okay. And we found, again, at the same levels, um, intake of total vitamin C of 200 to 300 milligrams per day. The risk of hip fracture went down pretty low. So there was almost 44% decreased risk of hip yeah. fracture with isn't, higher vitamin C intake. Isn't that amazing? So when you took the older people and just looked who fractured and who didn't, the people with higher, even two or three hundred milligrams of vitamin C, right. were able to reduce their fracture by 44%. Right. Right. And imagine, that's very impressive data. <laughs> I mean, if there was a drug that could do that, it would be very popular. Yes. And on the same hand, you think about all those other nutrients. If a person had adequate antioxidants, right. if they had adequate minerals. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing we see at these meetings, and this is an international yeah. meeting on osteoporosis and nutrition, we're seeing many researchers saying maybe we should look at multi-nutrients. Yes. Maybe we should broaden the scope. Broaden the scope. And also, individual nutrients don't work by themselves. There's so much interaction going on. So vitamin C, as you know, comes from fresh fruits and vegetables, right. which also have a lot of other nutrients that right, are right, right, good right. for health. So they, might, they may be interacting, and that's why it's important to look at the whole diet aspect. Right, right, right. But you, it, that is fascinating that it could be that vitamin C in the food, of course, comes with other wholesome nutrients, but also supplementation made a difference mm -hmm. in your study. Yes. In my study, uh, vitamin C supplements at higher doses of above 200 milligrams per day showed a similar decrease in the risk of both hip fracture and other fractures in both men and women. You know, I want to congratulate you on the study. Thank I want to you. congratulate you on the common sense approach to really see can this one important nutrient that we know is essential for bone, can it make a difference? Um, terrific work. Everyone take heed, get your vitamin C and the diet and supplements help reduce fracture. Thank you very much for taking Thank the time. You. And congratulations, good luck on your next project. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>